In the kitchen island, often the heart of the action at home, particularly at holiday time. I like this. I'm channeling, I'm channeling my granny right now <laughs> with a corsage, but it's Christmas time. You've exchanged your pocket square for a poinsettia. <laughs> Carl Loans is here to help us spice up the kitchen island with the season's hottest color trends. Good morning to you. Good morning. Thank you for you having me. You look very festive. Well, I'm, just... I'm, I'm, I'm so happy to be here. I was in Alberta about two weeks ago at the Christmas in November event in Jasper. Lots of inspiration. So beautiful. And mm -hmm. now I'm just hyped for Christmas. So I'm glad to be back in Calgary okay. uh, to talk about some great ideas. Okay, and these are some fun projects that you can do at home that are simple enough, Absolutely. but that will turn your space into yeah, a Yeah, primarily holiday. around the kitchen. Yes. And the big colors this year for kitchen are the bronze, copper, gold, the warm That's metal totally. tones, not mm -hmm. silveries, with okay. red. So just think of that, and anything you put together will work lovely. Um, first of all, starting off with, if you do not cook a lot, you may just want to set up your kitchen island as a bar. Okay. And I always say that the go-to drink of the season is the Bailey's Irish Cream Absolutely. Liqueur. Everyone buys their bottle at Christmas. Mm -hmm. uh, it's the original, so you've got to sort of show that label off and keep it out there. That's why I, 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 I fixed it here. Okay. But they have a great new flavor this year. It's called cinnamon, vanilla cinnamon. Really? And it's really nice with hot chocolate. It's great over ice cream of course it's great in coffee or on, on ice but what's great is that you can create a really nice little hostess gift this is just a candle Polar, lantern right oh, yeah candle lantern put another little corsage on it to dress it up maybe put the bottle into it maybe get some cinnamon sticks I'll get you to hand me a few of those of and because you want people to know what the flavor is and you just decorate it with some cinnamon sticks and you bring this as a gift and then it's a gift that they can use after Christmas when the bottle's gone as adorable. well adorable yeah I so love just really that simple idea. and easy but also pretty to display on the counter so okay. that's easy the Perfect. next idea is to create what I call a tray scaping I like this. Not manscaping or <laughs> counterscaping. It's tray It's for your platter for That's the island. That's right. And you make a platter and you fill it with beautiful ornaments that create the colors you want. Put a candle on there. Put some floral. Put some ornaments. And we've got one down here because if we're going to use it on the kitchen island, I thought it'd be kind of nice to use just a clear Pyrex dish. Okay. Put a tree in here. Put a candle in there. Let's dump some ornaments in. Why not? And really creating something with the colors of the Oops. season. That you really want. Ornaments. Runaway ornaments. Would you so, mix that up? Yeah, you would mix them up. You would keep the colors of the bronzes. There you go. And by the way, these pine cones, if we can get a shot of them, there's a light one and a dark one together. And I actually bleached them. You take pine cones really? and you, you, you soak them in bleach overnight, yep. dry them in the oven, and they take on a driftwood color, which is a nice light wood tone. Very, very easy to do and a simple project. How Last creative thing, are you? If you're not into the bar scene, mm -hmm. which I think you might be actually, you I might like be the that under the scene table. Too. I, okay, I'm the coffee all about scene caffeinating. is setting up the coffee bar for the overnight guests so that, that you don't have to get up early in the morning to serve them. Right. Have some pastries, have some, uh, some, some breakfast cookies ready, have the coffee ready. I give people a mug for Christmas when they arrive. This is your mug to drink out of while you're here, so we don't confuse. I love the lids mm -hmm. because they become adult sippy mugs, yes. <laughs> which means you can kind of put anything in them. Starbucks has a great collection of about 30 different mugs for Christmas. This, to me, if I was a host, I would want somebody to bring it. It's a copper French press. It's beautiful. It's got walnut wood on it, less than $40, and a fantastic price point. Okay. We have time for snow. Can we, we make some snow? We have time for snow. Let's make some snow. So this little guy was from Walmart, yeah. as is most of the decorations on the table. And this little guy has some powder in him. Okay. And you pour it into the bowl. Very, and very it's simple. it's called instant snow. It comes in a instant can. Instant snow. We're going to dump some water on it. And... Just give that a second, and we're going to have snow. And through the I magic of Christmas. And through the magic of Christmas, we're going to have some snow in a minute, and you'll bring that back. LED candles, super safe for the holidays. Yes. You want to use them on your windowsills, in powder rooms where you want a candle lit. Certainly on our trayscapes, they're great. And when we come back from the break, you're going to have some snow that you can show people, okay? Ooh, it's I already like forming. Look at it already. It's forming already. Oh, my gosh. It's an ice ball. It's a ball of ice. Uh, it's a winter wonderland here. Thank you so much. And Thank we're going to show this off uh, in just a moment. But I can guarantee you, Dave Will probably doesn't want to see more snow, right, Dave? Yeah, no.